I'm Dr. Jeffrey Caney. I'm a professor of radiology. I'm the head of thoracic imaging and the vice chair of quality and safety at the University of Wisconsin School of Medicine and Public Health in Madison, Wisconsin. So yeah, we've been using ADOC for at least, it's been at least a year, probably a little longer than that at UW-Madison. And um, I've been very pleased with it. I'm a thoracic radiologist, and so I've been doing this for 15 years. We started with the pulmonary embolism module, the intracranial hemorrhage module, and then we added on the uh, cervical spine fracture, the uh, abdominal free air, and now the rib fracture is the most recent one, one we've added. Uh, we are a trauma center, so it's nice to have those. I like how it finds cases, even ones I haven't looked at yet, and flags potential positive ones, so it prompts me to um, go to that case next rather than move down the list. And so I, I like that. It's, it's It makes it a little bit faster to read. I think it's set up perfectly because it's unintrusive, but when you open a case uh, that has a finding, it immediately, uh, a little banner rolls up, but it's still very small. I have it in the corner of my screen. It has a little flashing thing that uh, tells you right away you can't miss it, which is nice. And then you can quickly uh, interact with it to dismiss any any warnings or anything like that. But but then having it alert you in a way that, that you can't miss is, is good for patient care. It's a safe way of practicing and it's not a distraction, but it's good to have a just a simple tool. That's what I think that's one of the appeals of ADOC is it's very powerful, but it's very simple. In the U.S. right now, we're, we're, we've, we've had, um, even with COVID back on the rise, we've just had an increase in our volumes of other patients. I think in our department alone, our cross-sectional imaging is up anywhere between 10 and 15 percent. So any additional help to improve our throughput and our confidence and triage, I think is gonna be good for our patients. Seeing our department sort of engage AI head on and make it a partner rather than an adversary has really led to a lot of good things.